We're here at the Keysight booth at Mobile World Congress Americas in San Francisco, and we've got a lot of great demonstrations here that really speak to some of the exciting spins in the telecom space right now as LTE continues to evolve towards 5G and as the IoT takes off and we still see Wi-Fi continue to advance. Can you tell us a little bit about how Keysight is enabling their operator customers to really address all of those from design to deployment? So maybe I'll, I'll get sure. started, Marie. And uh, so first I want to say that, you know, Keysight has been a very strong player uh, through every generation of uh, cellular and non-cellular technology. So one of our business models through the years has been to really enable different technologies to come to market. And 5G is no different. Uh, and the latest evolutions you referenced in wireless LAN are no different from that point of view. What is different is this time around, the, the amount of complexity uh, in the technologies being rolled out is phenomenal, right? It's, it's hit a new high, and the pressures of cost uh, associated uh, with those technologies, uh, the pressures on cost are also very high, and so it, it, it poses a different challenge to the ecosystem. For Keysight, it's all about end-to-end -end solutions. For us, it, when we think about the technology, we think about what can we enable chipset companies to do with it, what can we enable folks that make devices with it, and how can we enable those deployments end-to-end. And, um, and this is a progression we've been making as a company to go higher in the stack. Uh, and with the recent acquisitions of Ixia and uh, before that Anite, we've really added more capability to, uh, to, uh, to provide test solutions in the uh, software space as well. Yeah, I would add that as uh, we are looking to all the great capabilities that 5G will enable, Keysight is the only test and measurement vendor out there that allows you to go all the way from layer one all the way to layer seven, uh, hence giving you that end-to-end -end solution. So you really have a one-stop shop to accelerate all your innovation into 5G. You know, and Satish, you mentioned just how dynamic a company uh, Keysight has been with their acquisitions of Ixia and Anite. Looking forward, how are you going to continue that leadership position in the wireless space? Yeah, so for us, uh, clearly, we are uh, the number one provider in design and test solutions. And uh, that means all the way from simulations, which is where early chipset makers need to bring up a technology, to deployments that the operators and their ecosystems need. So we, we provide that sort of end-to-end -end view. As we look ahead, there is new technologies coming into commercial realm. Uh, one example could be the use of higher frequencies in the commercial space. It's a big change. It means that we have to look at things holistically for the customer and include complexities of beamforming over the air test in our solutions. And this means that we have to go into spaces that maybe in traditionally we have not gone in. And that involves working with uh, organic capability, acquiring capability where it matters, and also working through a large partner network that we have that, uh, that we have built on our platform. So it's a combination of all these three capabilities but it's really aimed at providing solutions to our customers, simplifying their challenges, giving them a time to market advantage. So this is where we are focused strategically. Well, and you guys have both mentioned this end-to-end -end approach and just the vast array of technologies that are coming online. Help me understand from an operator perspective why it really is so valuable to have this one-stop shop ability with one trusted partner to cover your entire evolution towards 5G, towards gigabit LTE. So maybe I'll start and maybe you can add. So I'll give you a specific example. I mean, on the show today, you've seen some of our 5G solutions. Uh, a few months ago, we announced the industry's first protocol uh, design solution. Then we, we've now announced the RF design validation solution. What this means is that when, when you are bringing up your 5G stack, you incur a problem in the, in the protocol. You want to see how your physical hardware pieces will, uh, will be affected by that. And, and your ability to connect that workflow didn't exist before, and we're starting to provide that to our customers today. But what it means for an operator is, you're an operator, you want to bring the latest technology to market, you want to carry an entire ecosystem uh, to, to provide you that capability, and Keysight's there enabling that. We are the common glue that provides interoperability amongst different parts of the ecosystem, and it takes an entire ecosystem to, uh, to deploy these technologies. Uh, for the op from an operator point of view. 
Well, Sashif so keeps stealing all my answers, but uh, but fundamentally, when you do look at the operator, they bring up different parts of their infrastructure and their networks at different times. And bringing on something like 5G is a very complex procedure. And you're actually having to bring things and introduce them as part of your network before some of the standards, as you know, have even been ratified. And so Keysight has to actually get ahead of the standards. So not only do we have to be first, we have to be ahead of the first adopter so that we can help them deploy. And we have to emulate things. For example, the handsets haven't even, no 5G handsets available today, yet we have to emulate that so that the as they're building out their towers, they can measure the frequencies as they go out there and, and can assess that they're building out for that future. So doing that is requires an integrated approach. There's a lot of workflows that have to happen in collaboration across different groups. And Keysight, by using our equipment, we allow you to transfer that knowledge from each point. So you don't have discontiguous points of development. You can actually look at the whole service holistically. And we're really unique in that, in that capability. Yeah, you mentioned the complexity of 5G. One thing that I think is so compelling about what Keysight enables is you see some operators uh, looking at spectrum like in the 600 megahertz band, then you see so much attention around 28 gigahertz, 39 gigahertz. So you really need to have the flexibility to understand the entirety of that spectrum before you can really deploy anything. And that's just such a strong suit that you guys address from your products. We have to. I mean, if you think of point solutions, uh, people can offer point solutions for certain spectrums. You know, our approach has always tended to building the right platforms. And our, the way we think about platforms is can we bring customers all the way from 600 megahertz you know, frequencies we're talking about all the way to the 39 gigahertz and in some uh, wireless LAN technologies all the way up to the 67 gigahertz technologies. And uh, so we, we believe in those platforms. We've innovated organically to create those platforms that scale for customers because today somebody might be wanting to do design at sub six gig and they want that same test set up, the software, hardware, to scale up when they go to 28. They don't want to deal with a new uh, measurement algorithm at that frequency. And so that's, that's pretty unique. The other thing I would add is, historically, we have aerospace and defense exposure to our business, and that's really given us a leg up of at least 10 years in this technology, because we've had in-house millimeter wave capabilities for longer than that. That gives us another uh, leg up as, as 5G's complexity rolls out. Satish Marie, I appreciate you keeping us up to date with how Keysight is addressing this really dynamic market.